There's some questions about the count up uh, block. The count up block and count down block work in uh, very similar manners. Um, one counts up, one counts down. Uh, one thing that I appreciated about uh, some of the questions is when they were taking a look at uh, at some of these function blocks and uh, and sensors and actuators, they're doing it outside of the context of their program and it definitely will make it uh, much easier for you to debug your program if you really have a full comprehension of what um, how each of those components is supposed to uh, operate. So not even going to look at the scene. We are just going to take a uh, count up function block. We I, I clicked on it to get some details on what the inputs and outputs should be. Uh, one thing that might trip you up a bit is it doesn't actually give uh, say what the types are. Um, so we'll go through that here. And I'm going to use these preset sources. You'll end up using most likely for, especially for the Boolean, uh, you'll provide some value from your scene in. And uh, so this is a more or less a, a push button. You push it to switch the Boolean value to true or you might hear some people say hi where we're actually sending a, a signal to this count up block uh, so we put a send a boolean into the uh, cu input to reset that's another boolean so uh, if we want to reset it uh, to zero the count up uh, block output we'd press that button uh, the preset value is going to be expecting a numerical value, and that's the uh, the value that it's going to count up to before it gets to this uh, output, where Q is going to output true if this current value here in the output is equal to the preset value. So in this case, it's uh, output, so we're just going to want to store that somewhere and store it in uh, memory and we'll connect it right there and then the uh, current value is uh, is an integer going to be an integer so we'll connect that and now that we have our component wired uh, we'll start the scene so uh, if i press this button uh, it transitions to a high state or or if you want to consider it boolean of true um, and the current value increments the transition or the, the increment only occurs on the transition to high. So when I press it, uh, the, uh, this, this, we could see this wire is live or it's high, or if you want to consider it set to true, um, and the current value gets incremented. So again, three, four, and then what I was saying is, uh, so on five, the output is going to uh, get set to true if the preset value equals the current value. And then any uh, any subsequent uh, attempts to provide a, a high into the count up isn't going to do anything because our preset is equal to the current. We're set to true um, for Q. So the only way out of that is to do a reset, and in which case the current value goes back to zero. And the countdown works in exactly the same way, except it counts down. So that's an overview of using the count up block.